hello soulmates welcome back to my channel this is so with pivot please don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up thank you so today we're going to be learning how to make this beautiful dress for a girl of 9 to 10 years old please enjoy as you watch thank you so to make this i made use of one and a half yards of crepe material I went ahead to fold my fabric into four folds. The width of my material on fold is 13 inches. So now, what I'll do first of all, I'll mark out six and a half inches. So this is what I'm going to be using for the raw fold and for the elastic casing. So I marked it out first of all, before I'll mark out my length, I'll mark this out. So let's confirm what we have here. We have six and a half inches. Now from that point, I'm going to measure my gown length. And mind you, this is like an off shoulder cut. So I'm going to start from minus five. So I'll start from five inches. Then I'll measure the gown length of my gown. So the gown length I'll be using is 28 inches plus half inch. That's 28 and a half inches. So I'll be cutting a ruffle of 6 inches later to make up for the length because her total gown length is actually 34 inches. So back to the upper part. So we're going to come in by 2 inches. We're going by 2 inches on that line we have. We're going by 2 inches here. And we'll mark the same thing up. And then we'll connect it to a straight line. So we're going to connect it from those points from here to the hem you know, to form a kind of a line dress kind of So on that hem, I'm going to be going up by 1 inches and then we're going to connect this back to the center front. Okay, so now let me explain to you how we're going to be using that 6.5 inches we left initially. Now because this is going to be having an elastic casing, we're going to be using an elastic of half inch. So therefore, I'm going to come up by 1 inch. So I'm going to mark one inch here. You know, after fixing our elastic, we want it to have a little room. So I came up by one inch. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up by two inches. So now this is how long I want my ruffles to be. You can use one and a half, you can use two and a half, it's up to you. But I used two inches here. So now we're going to go ahead and measure the total of what we have and we have a total of 3 inches. Now we're going to mark out the same 3 inches here plus half inch for folding. So what we have here is what? 3 and half inches. Now I'll go ahead and cut. So after cutting I went ahead to notch this my rough points. So we're going to be folding it at that point but then let's continue first of all we'll get there so this is what we have we have our front piece and our back piece so let me open it up So I'm going to go ahead and connect these lines to this other end. You can see that it's be visible. You can see it. So I went ahead and connected the same lines we marked earlier. So I'll do so for both the front and the back piece. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to fold in that half inch. And then I'll fold it to meet that our six and a half inches line like this. And then we're going to go ahead and use our iron to press it so that it will stay in place. 
and then this is what i have done here i already pressed it to stay in place then the next thing we are going to do is we are going to sew our sides okay so the next one we're going to do is to go ahead and cut our ruffle piece remember i told you that um the width we're going to be using for our ruffle piece was what six inches so plus one inch our ruffle piece piece is what seven inches in width while the length is 60 inches and we have two pieces of this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring it together and sew so that it will form one piece then we'll go ahead and run our gather stitch and then this is what we have for our ruffles so the next thing i'll do is i'm going to bring the other edge we'll put it together and then we sew so we're going to close up the edge and sew and then we fix it to our upper bodies i'll go ahead and sew it now back to the upper part you know we already pressed it to keep it in place right okay so now let me fold it the way we pressed it so this is our half inches line as you can see so we're going to fold it to meet the line we left initially Okay, so the whole essence is for us to sew our ruffles and our elastic casing. Now, first of all, we're going to sew our ruffles first of all. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and mark out two inches. So I'll mark out two inches all round. So after marking it all round, I'll go ahead and stitch on that line. I'm going to sew on that line. So and then this is what we have after stitching on that line. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close up our elastic casing line. So I'll go ahead and stitch on this line all the way to the other side. Now this is the elastic we're going to be fixing and this elastic is what 19 inches in length. So this is it after sewing i left out like one inch speed so that i can pass my elastic and then this is me fixing my elastic now for this elastic i actually went ahead to minus like 10 to 12 inches so it's actually up to you so that it can at least be firm at that point and then if you want more ruffles at this point that means you go ahead and use more fabrics okay so this is it i'll go ahead and close up my elastic and then finish up that point i'm going to close up that point where we passed our elastic from and this is what we have these are our ruffles that we already fixed initially this is what we have so the next thing we're going to go ahead and fix in our sleeve so i'll fold my fabric into two then from the center point i'll go ahead and mark out three and a half or four inches in my own case i went by four inches so you mark out four inches there then i turned it to the other side and also marked out the four inches so i'm going to be marking this for both the front and the back So for the sleeve strap, remember we did a minus 5 like an off shoulder. So that means I'm going to be adding 1 inch for sewing allowance. So that's um, 10 inches plus 1 inch. I have what 11 inches for my sleeve strap and the width is what 3 inches. So and I have two pieces of this. So go ahead and fold it this way and we sew. So mind you there is something like a bow on that sleeve so i also have this piece for that and this piece measures 15 inches in length then for the width you can go ahead and use 
two and a half or three inches i actually use three inches but next time i'll be using two and a half inches so we also go ahead and i have two pieces of this also so we'll go ahead and fold it into two like this and sew so after sewing we're going to go ahead and turn it over we're going to turn our strap over and then we're going to locate that point where we marked and then we're going to be fixing our straps on that point meanwhile you know the edges are still raw we have raw edges so i'm going to take it in by quarter or half inch you can take it in by half inch since you left half inch allowance they are going to be placing it on that point and then we sew so i'm going to do this for the four edges of our strap so this is what we have after attaching our straps now let me go ahead and show you how i'm going to be doing the bow we have now i'm going to get my piece and then i'm going to finish up the edge and then i'm just going to fold it this way and after folding it i'll take it to my sewing machine and hold it in place so i'm going to just give it a little stitch at this middle so this is what we have after sewing so i'm going to go ahead and place it on that sleeve strap and then we sew and then we have simply come to the end of our tutorial this is a simple tutorial that you can pull up in less than 30 minutes so if you know you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching see you next time